Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you to just have a chat. You know, it's been so busy lately and uh, I'm doing this in the raw. I, I have no makeup on. I just got back from the beach. I did just put on a little bit of lip gloss. Um, but I just needed to do this because you know, I've been doing these videos for a couple of years now, and I love doing them. They bring me a lot of joy, and you warriors bring me a lot of joy. And yet, I allow them to kind of flex me up sometimes, because I feel like, oh, I gotta look young, I gotta look good. And so, I'm just kind of ditching that, and just going, here it is, you know, I'm 55 years old, and I've got a son who's grad just graduated from high school, and a daughter in university, as I think I might have mentioned before. Uh, but anyway, just to, you know, the thing is, things have been so busy, which is great. Life has taken off, but um, it's hard for me to do the videos because it takes, uh, you know, I do a lot of content development for it and practice it, and then sometimes it takes, you know, a few times when you are practicing it for the video, and I, I just, right now, I don't have the time to do all that. <laughs> so I'm like, you're just going to get me as I am, okay, and I hope you guys will still love me. So um, anyway, I was just walking on the beach, and something I had listened to today sparked these thoughts, but it was about streams of happiness. And, you know, when I was really debilitated with CFS, you know, your streams start to dry up. Everything that maybe you found joy in, um, suddenly because you're bed bound, you're debilitated, you lose relationships, you have a really hard time finding that love and that joy. And so... Um, you know, it was just really interesting thinking about this, and I've really developed streams of joy, and I want to develop more, but I just kind of wanted to open up this conversation with you because I think it's really important to do, and I think it's actually really possible to do even when you're bed bound. And so um, it's real easy to look at everything that we've lost and, and, you know, all that and get really depressed and bummed about it, but that doesn't help our recovery. And so, uh, you know, some of the things that I did when I was in bed and couldn't do much of anything was after I went through the very, you know, it was, it was quite a ways into the illness because, you know, for a long time, I just bottomed out. I mean, you know, you feel like you're the living dead. I like to think of it like the Nazgul's and Lord of the Rings, neither the living nor the dead because you're living, but not really. You have no life. And so once you get through that phase, you can begin to, you know, when you hit rock bottom, then you can start to come back up maybe. And so for me, it was watching videos of travel because I love to travel and I could do that in bed and it didn't take a lot of energy. And I could also watch videos on windsurfing and windsurfing began to grow in my heart is something that I wanted to get back to because I'd done it early in my twenties and I wanted to get back to that. I thought, well, you know what? I'll start watching videos on it because I love the ocean. And so those brought soothing moments to what was otherwise a very hellish experience. And, you know, my family was there, but at the same time, they didn't know what was going on. And I was reduced to feeling like I was a bunny in a cage. You know, we, we had bunnies and they lived in cages and they, they got fed and watered, but basically that was their existence. And I told my husband, this is what I feel like. And one of our bunnies. And so, you know, with relationships, you can begin to cultivate understanding so that they understand what's going on with you and um, connection points. You know, sometimes relationships can really stress us out when we're sick. I mean, when you've got the flu, for instance, you don't want company. And when you got CFS and it goes on for years, that gets challenging because you really do need the emotional connection. And so I would encourage you, if you've got kids, you know, make time for connection with them, whether, but on your terms, you know, get them to come snuggle up in bed with you if they're young and watch a show with you, or if they're teenagers, and I wish that I had done this more because I didn't when my kids were teens, is have a regular time that they would come in to see me and just chat and just let them know, I need this. You know, I was kind of in this mode, oh, it's all my fault, I'm sick, and I don't want them to see me like this, but you know what? We need that connection time with our kids and just where they can come in and it's not about homework and it's not about other things because that can be a stressful environment when you're sick, but where you can actually just connect in a loving way with them for a few minutes. You know, sometimes my son and I would play card games and, you know, so I would just say I wish I could have done more of that in those bed bound days. So I don't want to go too long on this video, but 
you know, I just want to encourage you to look for things that bring you joy. Like today I went out to the beach. I just thought, man, I took a little walk around outside in the garden. I was like, man, it's so gorgeous. So I went down to the beach and just thought, this is another thing that brings me joy. Another thing that really brought me joy during those bedbound days was learning. I love learning. So for me, a lot of it was the CFS programs I was doing, you know, whether that was Secrets to Recovery with the Optum Health Clinic, which are amazing, and education in itself, you know, on EFT and mindfulness and all kinds of stuff, you know, to learning Mickle, and I was coaching with Mickle, and now I've become a Mickle practitioner, so, because I just love the, all the concepts in it. So I love learning, and right now I'm actually also studying NLP hypnosis, EFT, and um, coaching with the Optum Health Clinic because I love those tools. So learning is a real joy to me. And it also is great for neuroplasticity. It really helps build those neural connections when you're sick and when you're working to get your life back. So anyway, those are some of the things, relationships again. So what was, I was thinking on the way here, things that I love that do bring me joy. And we don't want it to just be one thing because if that thing gets taken away, then you got nothing else, right? So you want to develop these different streams that bring you joy. Um, I love reading, though I didn't do a lot of that during my recovery. Ah, uh, one thing that I do love, though, and this might sound strange to some of you, the Word of God. I mean, I open every day up is with reading a chapter or more in the Bible, and I just love the Word. It's so rich. It builds me up. It encourages me. So that's one thing I really love. And so, you know, I haven't read a lot of other, I have read some other books, of course, like on CFS and things like that, but I used to love fiction. And so those are just things that I'm getting back to now. Now that my life is expanding, I still have some limits, obviously due to CFS, but, you know, my life is so different now. But then I hit days where I, I get very frustrated because I'm just not there yet, you know, and, you know, it takes time. So anyway, I'm just, you know, think about what kind of things bring you joy. You know, I love windsurfing and all that, but I'm a warm water girl, you know, and I can't do that here where I live because it's very cold water. And I started thinking maybe I just need to bite the bullet, get a surfboard and get out there in the waves um, because I do love the ocean. And so I might look into picking that up as a hobby as well. Um, I love making videos and I love making content. So that's something that I love doing. Um, anyway, I'm just kind of rattling off here, but I just really kind of wanted to do this as a, a dare to myself to, you know, to get over myself, you know, <laughs> get over, you know, just like having just like the structured video and I love doing that. So I'll probably get back to it because I really love teaching concepts that I've learned. And, um, and yet I also just want to come from the heart with you guys, because I know that you guys are struggling horribly with things terribly and yet at the same time there's so much growth that can happen and I know that healing is meant for every single one of you I know if that's anything I'm absolutely convinced of is that it is absolutely God's will for us to be healthy and whole and um, that's my greatest wish for you when I was in the deepest darkest days of this illness I remember just saying God if you ever get me through this I want to share whatever got me through on the other side with people to help them out of these this darkness. So um, anyway, that's it. Love you guys. I hope to be back on more. And if I make more of these off the cuff kind of videos, it might be easier for me than trying to structure the content um, just for the summer maybe because my son's leaving in the fall. And so I really want to devote my time to him and the family right now. That's kind of where all the you know energy is going. There's been a lot going on around here. Um, so anyway, take care, warriors, and I will always remind you, life is not over. It's starting again, and I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.